Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our last video, we have seen how we can connect to the SQL plus utility and we can check the database status with the help of shell scripting. In this video, we will try to understand how we can connect to the Rman utility, take the physical backup and that too we are going to do all those things with the help of shell scripting. So I have seen there are many people they are reaching out to me and they are saying how to take the backup with the help of shell scripting. You know shell scripting is something which is a set of unix command that you need to put into the file and you just need to run it. But you know there are many people I have seen they are mainly worried about the shell scripting. Let me tell you frankly shell scripting is really important part when you are working as an oracle DBA because you know there are many people they are they know about the administration task very well but if you have the understanding about the shell scripting then it will be really helpful for you in your future in your career because shell scripting is the thing which will reduce the budget let's say you know the client is coming back to you uh, they are saying uh, see for this work daily I need to run the job uh, and again we need to add some resource we need to allocate one employee over there so why not to do the some kind of automation so that that work will be done by the shell scripting itself so if you have this kind of skill set in your resume definitely that will going to help you so if you want to start your career into the shell scripting part definitely you don't need to worry about the things because shell scripting is really really simple you know let me tell you one uh, basic fund about the shell scripting if you have a shell script in your environment just try to open that file and see the command initially maybe you will not see you will not understand much of the things from that shell script so what you can do whatever the things you have not understand just copy that part and paste it into the google so google will tell you what is the meaning of that if you try to do this thing multiple times on different different shell script you will understand that hey i am understanding all the shell scripting so basically shell scripting is nothing but a basic it's a it's a command which actually so when you are firing one command on the Linux brand definitely you are doing the one command only but uh, you know sometimes we are in a situation where we need to uh, run a multiple command so in that case what you can do put all the command in one file and run it so you need to understand some basic concept like variable how to get the uh, data from that variable so don't worry about all those things because I am there to help you out now in this video we will see how you can connect to the Armen utility and you can take the backup because you know and like to take the backup early in the morning 2 o'clock so what you can do just do the shell scripting automate it and configure it into the cron tag so that the backup will trigger automatically now you just need to check the database uh, backup status if it is good then you don't need to worry about that if it is there is some issue you can track all those things into your log file so I'm not going to tell you all those things into the theoretical way only I'm going to tell you all those things practically way also so let us go to my screen but before that let me ask all of you to subscribe this channel because because of you guys only I'm here and you can see that our pro channel is progressing very well thank you so much for your support and let us go to my screen and let's see how you can do that practically before starting to this uh, how to take the backup with the help of shell scripting uh, by using the rman let me tell you something which i got it uh, and i'm using it from the long time so that that will be also helpful for all of you so nowadays i'm using one payment gateway uh, the payment gateway name is Paycoon and here I have already written the blog on it so you can just go through that and you will see what is the importance of this Paycoon payment gateway so the problem for me it was like when I was getting the uh, the money from the outside uh, let's say someone is sending me the hundred dollar but I was not getting that hundred dollar I was getting only eighty dollar that was a big problem and the client was not ready to give me that twenty dollar amount so I was just looking for something uh, or the payment gateway through which you know the transfer charges very, will be very low okay so after doing the lot of research I come to know about this Paycoon payment gateway this is really good and if you talk about the transfer charges then the transfer charges is 1.75 only for uh, domestic and it is 3% for the uh, international 
and the best part about the pay kun payment gateway is that uh, if you talk about the registration that is really simply you don't need to go anywhere it is just like online only you just need to scan the your aadhar card or pan card some uh, normal document and you just need to send it to them so within one day they will just recti uh, they will just verify it and you are ready to send the money again the most important thing which i like personally is uh if you if i want someone to send me the money what i'll do i will just send you the link and he will just click on that link and he will just do the transaction and i will get the money so it is just kind of one link you you can uh, transfer that link with the help of your whatsapp or by with the help of email anything you can take it so because of that only i believe pekun payment gateway is really good you can use these things and if you want to know more about the security what kind of features they have added all the things i have mentioned over there so some of the feature just i will try to explain over here that it is coming with the 120 plus payment option so you can take your mastercard visa card rupee amex card so all the cards are accepted by this payment gateway so that is a really really good so it is not like we are restricted to something like few options only now what is you know the payment gateway when we are talking about the base part about the payment gateways nowadays they are using the upi also so you have a bhim upi you have a phone pay paytm lot of wallets are also there so you can do all the transaction you can get the money from your wallet so all those thing that is possible with the help of pekun payment gateway and as i said payment link is provided so you just need to send that link and someone can send you the um, amount within a minute so this is all the importance of payment gateway no setup charges no annual maintenance cost no hidden charges nothing 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 so i would recommend to all of you go with this uh payment gateway and uh, let me tell you frankly here uh, for my website i am also using a payment gateway as paykun only because there are very less charges over there so you can get the plugin you can just install it on your uh, website if you if you are having the any website and you can do these things very well okay so this is how the payment paykun gateway plays a really really important uh, role in my life so i believe that will be really helpful for you so now let's talk about your rman how to take the rman backup with the help of shell script so where is my machine let me go there okay now here i'm going to connect to the oracle so first of all i'm going to check whether my database is up and running or not so ps hyphen e f grip pmon okay oh what i'm doing man so let me go there and just pipe the command okay so here i can see the name of the database is prime and currently it is up and running when you are talking about the rman backup try to understand one thing okay when we want to take the rman backup the first part that your database should be in archive log mode okay if your database is in archive log mode then and only then you can take the uh, take the backup up are man that to online backup okay so i am going to the sql plus utility and checking whether my database is in arca log mode or not so how to go that sql plus utility just type the command like arca log list and here i can see my database is in arca log mode and the arca destination is pointing to this location that's fine you can change it later on but the most important part is my database is in arca log mode okay so the first part is clear now uh, the second part is we will see whether uh, how to take the backup by using this shell script so i'm going to create one shell script okay i have already written this shell script you can just go here and let me check this so i'm opening it for all of you okay the script is little bit small only not that big one but try to understand what is there so this is going to use your bash shell because of that only i have written this bash shell over here okay now the second thing that you can see over here rman backup underscore location equals to this location so this is a variable which will store this value and my rman backup location will be this one okay what does it mean when i'm taking any backup my backup will store somewhere right in one location so what is that location this is the location so i had just mentioned this location 
with the variable arm and backup underscore location. Now, what is the parallelism? I'm going to use a parallelism of four, which will take the backup with the parallel option four. It means the backup will be faster. Okay. Maximum piece size will be three GB. More than that, I don't want. So I'm just setting up all the parameters over here. Now export oracle home export oracle sid and export path so you know like when you want to connect to the sql plus utility or any arm and utility first of all you need to set up the environment so there are three things that you will be set up over here the first one is your oracle home second one is your oracle sid and third one is your path so try to understand the things that oracle home equals to this one i have already set up because when you want to connect to the arm and utility, you cannot directly connect to the arm. And. First of all, you need to set up the environment. Then and only then it will connect to the arm and utility. And the second part is export oracle underscore SID equals to prime. This is my database name and this is the path. Now here I have not mentioned oracle home. I have just mentioned the dollar oracle home. It means to say this is one variable we store this value slash bin okay so if i just try to print this echo path how to print into the shell scripting by using the echo command echo then space variable name so whatever the value which are available into that variable that will get printed okay so path equals to oracle home slash bin oracle home means this path slash bin and we are just setting up this path okay once the path is good now i'm going to take the full database backup so full backup equals to and this is the script which you can take to you know take the backup so you can just remove all those part if you want to wish or you can just write down the small script like backup database arm so you can just do like that let me show you so what i'm going to do here i'm just opening the i'm just uh, opti optimization is on control file backup is on so that it will take the control file backup also as well as your sp file backup also and uh, then the format i'm specifying where the control file will go okay make max set size i'm uh, specifying over here and this is here you can you need to understand so when i'm saying that i want to take the parallel backup and i'm just giving the variable name here but what is the value of this parallelism variable you can see on the top okay parallelism equals to 4 okay and then this is a run now when you want to run a multiple command into the arm and prompt you need to write the run block so inside the run block i am specifying this script okay i am specifying this script so run inside the run we are allocating few channels and i'm saying like backup database plus archive all so if you see this shell script uh, in the proper manner or just by using your mind i have not done something which is very uh, like magic only it is just your normal script which i just enter over there only the things which are done here replacing the variable okay replacing the variable so first i am opening the arm and target slash so i'm connecting with the arm and utility before that i have just set up the environment like export oracle home and export oracle sid and then i am creating this function okay this is called a function okay inside the function we are returning our shell script and at last we are calling to that function so when i'm calling this script will get executed okay so let me try to repeat it first of all i have set up the environment the next thing is once oracle environment got set up we are opening the arm and utility by pressing the command like arm and target slash and then i am saying like backup database plus archive log but before that i am also specifying the arm and backup location and all the stuff because i want to take the arm and backup and that needs to be stored into this location and i am just releasing the channel that's it and at last once the function get closed i am calling to this function full backup so this is full backup means this is a function which i am calling and this function we have already written on the top okay now how to execute this i am just closing it dot slash test dot sh okay i am just running it before that i want to tell you something again if i open this uh, test dot sh 
so we need someone where we can you know store our block we store our logs okay so whatever you can see after the armen target slash and you are taking the backup all the logs will get stored to the backup.txt file okay it's a backup.txt file now let me try to run it how to i have written the script i need to give the full permission or like 775 by using the ch mode command i have already done that and now i am just running it so here you can see the backup has been started internally now if you want to cross check just open the duplicate session and go to the oracle okay i am going it here now let me try to go there so i am just opening the duplicate session okay so that i can show you like what is happening inside the your log file okay so because of that only i have opened this duplicate session there is some timeout error let me do that one more time okay now it's good okay and so tail is the command to check if it is happening backup.txt okay so i am just opening this log file can you see here some of the contents are coming right because internally that backup is running and the backup logs are getting stored in this log file okay so you can see over here okay see the back this this script is continuously running and you can see the new new logs are coming to this uh, to this uh, shell script okay why it is happening because still our backups are still going on okay now you can see the backup has been completed here and it's exit we can we are getting up our prompt over here right this is how the shell script work now if i just go here arm and target slash and if i see the list backup to check whether the backup has been completed or not i can see that okay so list backup here you can see the backup has been completed and it was a full backup now if i just open that uh, log file so backup.txt here you can see this is the log of your rman backup this is how you can take the backup of your rman i hope this video is really really helpful for you because i have seen the most of the people are asking me about how to take arman backup with the help of shell script okay so if you are looking for training please contact me and don't forget to you know use that pekun gateway that is really good i am there to help you out okay thank you so much for watching this video please do like subscribe and share this channel bye bye